Welcome to the latest episode of the series How to Paint Miniatures. In the upcoming tutorials, we will be painting figures from the Bloodborne board game. On today's video, we will cover the steps to paint Vicar Amelia. If you are enjoying these guides, consider subscribing for more board game painting tutorials and don't forget to like the video to help us. For this project, you need the following colors. The first step of this mini was priming the whole miniature with black primer. And for this mini, I wanted to try something different with the primer that I saw in other painting videos. I applied the white primer over the black primer, but very lightly and controlled the angle of application, so the black was still visible underneath. My goal is to use washes and diluted paint to construct the colors over it, but leave the shadows prepared to receive it, especially because the beast have some black and white colors. I mix Bugman's Glow, Mastone Red and Katakan Flash to paint the interior of the tongue and some of the guns of the model. I mix Macrish Blue with some Mechanicus Thunder Grey to make the blue less saturated and dilute it with the water to paint the undercoat of the car's mane. It's important to dilute the paint so the gradient we did with the primer shows up. I did regret a bit painting the mane with the blue. It turned out much more visible than I wanted. So looking back, maybe I would make the blue just for the skin parts and the undercoat of the mane in pure mechanical standard grey for a different shade, so it would still look more grey than blue. After this part, I dry brush the mane with long beard grey. I then shaded the blue parts, but not the mane, with Drakenhof Nightshade. I painted her head cloth, armbands and shirt with ceramide white. For the nails and horns, I used Yush Body Bone. Then I shaded Yush Body Bone and white parts with Seraphine Sepia. For some blood details, I mixed Methstone Red and Hinox Height. I painted the base with Abaddon Black. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. If you still haven't done so, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!